Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Today we continue our lessons about application of endotomy and exotomy reaction. Okay, but today we will focus on instant hot pack and instant cool pack. Okay, first of all, look at our learning objective today. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to design materials using the concept of exotomy and endotomy processes to solve a problem in life. So, I will give you a task at the end of the lesson. I will give you a task and then you have to solve this problem. Okay, so look at this. Our problem solving using the concept of endotomy and exotomy reaction. Okay, this we have instant hot pack. Okay, instant hot pack is one of the uh, application of exothermic reaction. Okay, instant hot pack are used to release heat into the surrounding. The heat released by instant hot pack can relieve muscle cramp and increase the size of lumen in the blood capillaries so that the rate of blood circulation through these capillaries is increased. Okay, how it works? Okay, actually, in instant hot pack, they are uh, it have its contain uh, calcium chloride or magnesium sulfate in water. So when we squeeze uh, the instant hot pack, okay, we squeeze instant hot pack, okay, squeeze outer edge towards center from arrow, right? Okay, the squeeze kiri kanan macam ni. Okay, when we squeeze the instant hot pack, calcium chloride or magnesium sulfate will be react with water. Okay, dissolve in water. Okay, so uh, the reaction between the calcium chloride or magnesium sulfate with water will be will be produce uh, heat. Okay, will be produce heat. Okay, heat will be released into the surrounding. Okay, will be released into the surrounding. Okay, get it? Okay, I will explain for you in Malay. Okay, instant hot pack merupakan salah satu daripada uh, aplikasi tindak balas exothermic. Okay, tindak, uh, aplikasi daripada tindak balas exothermic. Okay, apa yang dibebaskan? Okay, dalam uh, instant hot pack ni mengandungi kalsium chloride ataupun mengandungi magnesium sulfate. Salah satulah sama ada kalsium chloride ataupun magnesium sulfate dan juga air. Okay, kalsium Chloride dan magnesium sulfate ni dia berada uh, berasingan tau dengan air secara berasingan. So bila kita squeeze ataupun kita picit di tengah ni di bahagian tengah ni, okay, ikut anak panah tu kiri kanan. Okay, bila kita squeeze, okay, bila kita squeeze, kalsium chloride uh, dan juga air akan bercampur. So apabila dia bercampur uh, akan menghasilkan satu tindak balas. Okay, menghasilkan satu tindak balas. Okay, air dan kalsium kalsium oksid. Okay. Uh, bercampur bersama menyebabkan tindak balas exothermic. So, haba akan dibebaskan oleh pet panas segera ni akan melegakan kekejangan otot dan sekaligus meningkatkan kadar peredaran darah. So, kita boleh melegakan kekejangan otot. Dengan cara macam mana tu? Dengan cara meningkatkan kadar peredaran darah. Okay, now we continue with instant cool pack. Okay, instant cool pack is one of the application of endothermic reaction. Okay, instant cool pack are used to absorb heat from the surrounding. The heat absorbed by instant cool pack can reduce the swelling of wounds, get rid of heat from even tissues or body organs, and reduce the size of lumen in the blood capillaries so that the rate of blood circulation through these capillaries is reduced. And this help to stop bleeding. How is work actually? Okay, actually in instant cool pack, it's contain ammonium nitrate and water. Ammonium nitrate and water. So when we squeeze here, okay, squeeze together here, okay, ammonium nitrate will react with water. Ammonium nitrate will dissolve in water. So when it dissolve in water, uh, chemical reaction will be occur which is endothermic reaction will be occur. So, we know that endothermic reaction will absorb heat from the surrounding. Okay, get it? So, I will explain to you in Malay. Okay. Instant cool pack ataupun pack sejuk segera 
merupakan salah satu daripada aplikasi tindak balas endotermik. Okey, aplikasi daripada tindak balas endotermik. Okey, di dalam instant cool pack ni, dalam instant cool pack mengandungi amonium nitrate dan juga air. Mengandungi amonium nitrate dan juga air yang diletakkan secara berasingan. Bila kita squeeze ataupun kita picik kat dalam ni, okey, bila kita picik, Uh, ikut aero ni okay, Bila kita picik ikut aero okay, Barulah amonium nitrate akan Larut di dalam air So apabila tindak balas berlaku Antara amonium, amonium nitrate dan juga air okay, Tindak balas endotermik akan terhasil okay, Tindak balas endotermik terhasil Campuran antara air dan amonium nitrate Menyebabkan suatu tindak balas endotermik So haba Okay, haba yang diserap oleh pet sejuk boleh mengurangkan bengkak pada duka dan juga pada radang tisu. Dia dapat membantu memberhentikan pendarahan okay, kerana ia boleh mengurangkan kadar peredaran darah. Okay, got it? Okay, so okay, now I have a task for you. Okay, look at this picture carefully. Okay, look at this picture carefully. This is problem solving using the concept of endotermic and exotermic reaction, PBDTP6. Okay. So, based on the situation happened to this athlete, what kind of pack is appropriate can be used either instant hot pack or instant cool pack. Okay. So, using your creativity, Okay, using your creativity, modify and make an instant hot pack and or instant cool pack using the following materials. And then don't forget to explain. Okay, using these materials, okay, you have to modify and make an instant hot pack or instant cool pack. Okay, using the following materials. And then don't forget to explain your answer. Okay. Your creativity should be based on this situation. Based on this situation. Okay. Get it? Okay. I will explain for you in Malay. Okay. Berdasarkan situasi yang berlaku pada atlet ini, apakah jenis pack yang sesuai digunakan? Adakah instant cool pack or instant hot pack? Okay. Yang mana yang sesuai? Okay. Maka... Dengan menggunakan kreativiti masing-masing, kamu modify, kamu buat sama ada instant hot pack ataupun instant cool pack. Okay, bergantung kepada situasi tersebut. Okay, menggunakan bahan-bahan yang telah diberi kan ni. Dan kamu kena explain, kena terangkan macam mana instant hot pack ataupun instant cool pack kamu itu berfungsi. Okay, which one yang kita kena guna? Sama ada calcium chloride ataupun ammonium chloride. Dalam hot pack kamu ataupun dalam instant cool pack kamu So kena pilih mana yang sepatutnya digunakan Jangan tersalah pilih okay, Kalau instant hot pack yang mana yang sesuai digunakan Kalau instant cool pack yang mana yang sesuai digunakan Okay get it? Okay explain macam mana dia berfungsi How it works Okay So itu sahaja untuk kali ini See you next lesson Bye bye